Oh, hello there, beautiful. I thought it would be nice to ease into this video tutorial with some peel porn. Yeah. Rub me down with that oil, girl. Mm, poke it under and peel me off. Yeah. Don't mind the menchie hair. Oh, let's do it again. I wanna see you peel for me, girl. Peel, the peel is real. Oh, I just wanna collect all your peelies. Keep them under my pillow. Now that you are officially confused with what the hell kind of video you're watching, you should subscribe to my channel. You will always be surprised. I promise. Now, does anyone remember when I did these nails and then said this? The new Instagram update is hollow. We asked for hollow and they gave us rainbow, so close enough. Instagram will come around to its hollow sexuality eventually, okay? But for now, I just put my own hollow taco on it to fix their logo. It's also a gradient. And if you didn't know, that's the only kind of nail art talent that I have. Let's get started with the peel off base coat, yay. Except I'm still wearing these nails as I make this tutorial, so you're not gonna get the peel porn at the end. I'm sorry guys, that's why I put a different peel porn at the beginning. Next, add some white polish, because colors show up best over white. Rainbows are good, but not when they're in the form of nail polish stuck to your skin. So protect yourself, girl, with some liquid latex. Put it all up around your skin and up in your cuticle. While you're letting that dry for a couple minutes, you can go pick out some neon polishes. I actually really like Instagram's color scheme, okay? I'm proud of you. Even if PowerPoint was your inspiration, I'm still proud. But even if PowerPoint makes that gradient look easy, it's actually a lot harder to do it yourself on a sponge without a computer. So I tried my best to match the colors and placements of the gradient behind the new Instagram logo, and well, we'll see. You can test out the sizing and stuff just by dabbing the sponge on a white piece of paper first. Does it fit? Does it fit? Okay, it kinda works. All right, let's go. Just give a little dab, dab, dab to that Insta gradient. And uh, yeah, see what I mean? It's not as easy as PowerPoint. For any beautifully blended gradient, you're gonna need to do several thin layers of polish. I mean, polish dabbing. You're better off doing multiple thin layers of the gradient and just letting the polish dry a little bit in between each layer than doing really thick, gloppy coats of the gradient because it's just gonna turn into a fucking mess. Kind of like that other thing I know a lot about putting multiple layers on. I'm snorting makeup powder. And there's a cat hair. Again. There is no escape. Eight layers later, when I was finally happy with the gradient blend, it was time to peel off Simply Peel like no big deal. So much peeling on this channel, yeah. And this is the unfortunate time when you push too hard with your gradient sponge and you put the shit in your cuticles anyways. Lucky for me, that yellow was a stamping polish, which means it's one of the most possibly opaque polishes ever. And now I have yellow cuticles for life. I know how Big Bird feels now. Next, we're gonna add a quick dry top coat, which is crucial to doing the actual part of this nail design that makes it Instagram logo inspired. You're gonna let that dry like Melanie Martinez when she gets out of a bath of soap. Then you're gonna take some white acrylic paint because we're gonna be painting with it. So you'll also need a paintbrush. I just realized everything is white on the screen so you can't really see what I'm doing. Sometimes I add a bit of water to the acrylic paint because it makes it easier to work with. And now I'm just gonna practice my freehand painting skills. Mm -hmm. And this is what a rounded square looks like. Now remember, if you want to use the trick that I'm about to show you, you can only paint the acrylic paint on if the top coat underneath is fully dry. So I actually did this second part the next day, but you could do it probably an hour after. It depends on how good your quick dry top coat is. In any case, watch me draw a square. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, not everyone has a steady hand, guys. Talent comes in many forms. One of my talents is problem solving, and I have figured out what to do when I fuck up my nails. And I'd like to share that talent with you because I truly believe this talent is a highly transferable skill. This is one of the tricks I showed in my 20 DIY nail art hacks. You take a toothpick and you gently scratch off any mistakes. You made your lines too thick, no problem. Your edges weren't round, no problem. You scratched off something you didn't mean to scratch off, no problem. We're gonna fill it in shortly. 
because the acrylic paint kind of turns to dust when you start to scratch at it, all you gotta do is just dust it off with a dry brush. And yeah, so basically you could just keep going back and forth with adding paint and then scratching it off and adding more paint and scratching it off again as you continually try and perfect that rounded square. At some point or another, you gotta call it quits, so I think that's right now for me. I'm done. Next, you're gonna draw the circle inside the rounded square. Instagram is so creative with their shapes. If you can't fit a square peg in a round hole, can you fit a round peg in a rounded square hole? Instagram, you must answer me. To be honest, this doesn't even look like a camera. It's like a donut with a rounded square, like a cronut, but a rounded square donut. A ronut, a ronut, yes. I'm so hungry now. Wait a second, what are those fancy blue nails doing all this toothpick action? It's time for What's on my other hand? And oh my god, first of all, please excuse the fact that I've had this nail polish on for over a week, so it's kind of grown out. But this is one of the six new colors of my own collaboration collection of nail polish. I know, right? What, 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 what? And this one's called, How Deep Is Your Hollow? Is it like the ocean? Well, it's not called the second part, it's only called the first part, but you may remember why. My brand new collection is a collaboration with Fun Lacquer, one of my favorite hollow glitter makers, and it'll be released on May 21st. And yes, I'm gonna have a nail porn dedicated to my new collection. You just gotta give me some time to edit that nail porn, cause I gotta give it some tender loving and care. But in the meantime, you can follow me on my 1800 different social media platforms to get all the latest updates on the collection, including sneak peeks of my own pictures and videos. Ah, I'm so excited, there's so much hollow. Okay, stop it, Christine, you must focus. You must finish these nails that you committed to doing earlier in this very same video. Finally, we finish off this strange looking logo with a white dot. And now it looks like a dishwasher or a keychain or maybe an earring. I don't know. And yeah, now it's pretty obvious I did way too many coats on my middle finger and that's why the purple is so much darker than the other fingers. Oops, no going back now. And now to give Instagram the update it always deserved but it never gave itself despite the billions of dollars it has in its offshore accounts. We're gonna make Instagram hollow again. Well, not again, but just make Instagram hollow. <laughs> when you're done, you can add another regular quick dry top coat to seal everything all in and make it super shiny. Now that I'm done and my nails are insta-fleek, I really hope that Instagram doesn't update its logo in a week and render these nails irrelevant again. You hear that, Instagram? Listen up. The only update you are allowed to add is a hollow update. Instagram two-point hollow. You know what's weird though? Even though the app is all rainbow, it's really deceiving because the actual app, once you click into it, it's very plain and basic and white and I don't see any other rainbows other than all these amazing nail art posts. Oh yeah, this page isn't mine. My personal page is simply nail logical and this one at simply not logical is my feature page. Oh, that's my face though. Make sure you're following me on all the social medias and hey, oh, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, here's another reason. At 1 million YouTube followers, a giveaway of Hollow will be unlocked. But only when this channel hits 1 million subscribers so better contribute so you can unlock the giveaway and win some hollow shit. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and hopefully I won't see you again with another Instagram nails. Okay, I'm done. See y'all later, bye.